Hello there and welcome to this special episode of Brian Lomax Movie Talk. Why is it special? Well, it's not a review or my typical kind of feature that I do. It's a tag, a, uh, a, a tag that's been floating around YouTube called The Secret Life of a YouTuber. Um, I was rather generously tagged by ATZ Reviews. Um, thank you for that, ATZ. Um, go and check out his channel because he's really good really great speaker, really great communicator, and has a really wide knowledge on movies. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend his channel. Once again, thank you for tagging me. So here are my answers. Question one, how long have you been on YouTube? I've actually been on YouTube for nine years, which is actually quite incredible when I think about it. Uh, it's almost a decade. I worked at a cinema and that really should have been the, the prime time for me to actually do a channel like this but I never did and, and I don't really know why I guess I just didn't have the confidence and I didn't really have the equipment as well uh, I didn't have the cameras and, and all the editing gear that I have now uh, but yeah just in the uh, nine months ago I, I did my first video uh, movie related video um, on uh, it was the departure of Edgar Wright from the Ant-Man movie um, and I don't know why I just it just crept up on me and I just thought screw it just do it question two at what point do you think you will stop? Well, for me, this is just a creative endeavor, really. Um, it's If it became a money earner, which I doubt it will, um, then that'd be fantastic, because quite frankly, this would be my dream job. Um, I love watching movies, absolutely love watching movies, and I can talk about them all day, um, much to my wife's annoyance at times. But yeah, uh, so, so this really would be a dream job, but at the moment it ain't a job and chances are it never will be. So it has to be creatively rewarding. Um, and the minute it stops being creatively re rewarding is probably the time that I will stop doing it. Number three, what's the best thing about being a YouTuber? So the best thing about being on YouTube really is the community. And I know this is an answer that nearly everyone gives for this YouTuber tag, um, but it's true. Uh, I, I love movies. I've always loved movies from as far back as I can remember. And I will talk to people about them until I'm blue in the face. Um, and it's just, I think everybody needs a sense of belonging. I think, I think we crave it. The human race is absolutely mad on just putting people into into groups, into blocks, and, 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 and we're mad on, on trying to belong to certain groups and certain blocks of people. Even if even if we think we're not, we are. We all want that sense of belonging. Um, and we get it in many areas of our lives. I get it in my faith, my Christian faith. I get it in my relationship with my family, my, my mum and dad, my brothers, and particularly my wife and kid, um, my lovely young daughter. Um, and I get it in movies as well, things like movies, music, and all that kind of thing, but yeah, uh, more so movies than music. Um, so coming onto YouTube like this, and in a sense exposing um, my thoughts to the world, uh, while it's a little bit scary at times, it also allows community, it, it allows me to belong to a particular group of people. Um, so yeah, I mean like when ATZ uh, tagged me for this video, that was a really great moment, to be honest. Um, probably a small moment in most people's lives, but for me, it's 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 belonging to a community. So when someone reaches out like that, and when they offer their hand out, so to speak, they're inviting you in, they're inviting you to become part of their community. Subscribers are great, but if no one's engaging, um, then there's really no point, because I can just be sticking videos out there, and, and, and if no one's engaging with me, if I'm getting no response from anyone, it kind of it neuters what I do, I guess. Um, and one of the it's one of the reasons I like a guy called Fear the KM Gamer. He he always responds to comments, um, and yeah. He, so so he's he's got a real great community sensibility about him. He, he's really kind of latched on to to what YouTube should should be all about, the community aspect. Number four, what's the worst thing about being a YouTuber? What do you do to make it okay? And for this question, a lot of people do tend to point out the haters. Um, you do tend to get people who, who, who just comment, kind of spitting bile, uh, just for the sake of it, really. Um, thankfully, so far, I've not had any of those. Um, I'm sure they will come. Um, but when they do, I, I will simply choose to just ignore them. I won't respond to them because 
obviously there is something wrong in their lives that they feel they have to go into a community and, and spit out hate for the sake of it. Um, it makes me feel sorry for them rather than get pent up and want to attack them. Um, so yeah, when the haters come, that's how I will respond to it. Beyond that, uh, creatively there are a few things that are quite hard in in the sense that like ATZ when when he did his video he pointed out that um, sometimes he puts all of his effort into some particular videos and they get no views um, and and that's that is true for me also is that sometimes I do features I mean my reviews I, I try to get up as quickly as possible I, I shoot them within about 20 minutes I edit them within about an hour to an hour and a half and then I just get them up on YouTube um, but I do features every now and again as well so like top tens or top fives and they general, generally tend to take a little bit more time well a lot more time actually so when I put them up and nobody watches them you kind of feel a little bit deflated um, but you know hey that's, that's the nature of this business if you want to call it that um, but it, it's not going to stop me because I enjoy talking about those particular things so I, I do features on things that interest me um, and I think because of that it, it still remains rewarding even if only a handful of people watch them. Number five, how many thumbnail options do you usually take? Just the one. Uh, I used to do quite a few actually. I used to go, for each video I used to go through my edit and pick out um, the best frames so I'd just take a frame here and there and that would take quite a long time to be honest it was a little bit annoying um, and it didn't look particularly great either to be honest so I wanted to essentially brand my channel I wanted to give it a sense of branding if you want to call it that so that when people see one of my videos just a thumbnail for it on YouTube if they know my channel they'll instantly recognize that thumbnail as being one of my videos um, which is why I now for each of my videos I have the uh, the purple background with the poster on one side and a particular font um, describing what the video is on the other side. Number six, do you have a crush on any other YouTubers? I don't have a crush on anyone that's on YouTube, um, it's just, sorry, I love my wife, um, so that's it, next. Number seven, who's on your collab wish list? There's a few people on YouTube I'd like to do collabs with actually, um, ATZ being one of them, uh, he obviously did did the tag on me for this video um, but I like him as a communicator he's a real fast talker but you can keep up with him and he also from the videos of his that I've seen he doesn't tend to use foul language or vulgarity that kind of thing um, and for me that's that's a strong selling point for anyone on YouTube because if you're coming to a particular subject and you're going to talk about it you're going to like give your opinions on it for me personally, I think it's a very important thing to be able to express yourself in such a way that you communicate what you're feeling without having to resort to to a lot of foul language and, and just vulgarity really. I want my daughter, um, who's only a baby at the moment, she's just turned one, um, but I want to be able to, to share my passion for film with her as she gets older. I'm not going to sit my daughter down when she's five and stick an 18 rated film on or a 15 rated film because I think the ratings are there for a reason. I agree with them. I, I'm glad we have a rating system but we don't have that for YouTube and so when people are making videos I just I, I feel like maybe they should take a little bit more care about what they're saying and, and think about their audience because I am their audience and you're never going to lose an audience member by not being foul-mouthed but you can lose audience mem members by being foul-mouthed so to me do the maths there you know what I mean they're the kind of people that I'd like to collab with um, so like one of them is uh, Samantha from over at um, London City Girl TV. Um, what I really like about the video she does is that you can tell she's done her research and she's really again a, a good communicator. I can tell she's really passionate about gaining film knowledge and uh, and, and, and really getting it right. Um, so yeah check out her videos as well if, if you don't know who she is. A really good channel. Fear the KM Gamer um, he's, he's pretty young as far as YouTubers go um, but yeah, I, I admire anyone who, at a fairly young age, 
really has the balls to do what, what I didn't um, when, when I was younger, um, which is to actually put themselves out there and, and, and get on YouTube and do it. Also, Bearded Movie Guy is, is, a, is a guy that um, I communicate with now and again. Uh, well, quite a bit on YouTube. I watch his videos, he watches mine. Um, and yeah, I, he's, he's, he seems like a really genuinely nice guy and he's one that, again, I would probably like to collaborate with. Of course, all of those people that I've just mentioned don't have huge followings. They're not like um, YouTube megastars or anything. Um, if I was aiming like for my absolute top wish list, if I could be on any YouTube show, it would be AMC Movie Talk. I love AMC Movie Talk. I watch it every morning. Again, that's, that's, a, that's a show I can watch with my daughter and usually I get up in the morning, I put my daughter's milk on and then um, I'm feeding her whilst watching AMC Movie Talk and it's a safe show. It's one that I can watch with my daughter and know that I'm not going to have to cover her ears up or anything. Um, but yeah, I, I love the, the, the layout of that show. I love the way it's done. Um, and yeah, so if, if absolute top of the wish list, if I could be on any show on YouTube, if I could collaborate with anyone, AMC Movie Talk, love those guys. Number eight, what are you wearing on your bottom half? Jeans. Number nine, how long until you actually click record? Between getting from the theatre to the camera, I've been processing it, I've been thinking about the things I want to say, um, so I set up get the camera rolling and just splurge it out really. Um, I usually end up with about 20 minutes worth of stuff of me just kind of rambling on and then I just whack that into the edit suite, cut it down to about six to eight minutes. Uh, so so yeah, it's, it's pretty early on that I press record. Number 10, how do you feel about the YouTube community slash culture? Most people on YouTube are generally quite good. What I will say, however, is that there are some people who are literally just subscriber hunters and once they've got you that's it they don't engage with you and for me that's a little bit of a bugbear it's a little bit annoying i can understand the likes of your jeremy Giles and your chris stuckman's not responding to to your messages because if they responded to everyone who comments on their videos they would have no life whatsoever they would have no time to even film videos um, because they have such large followings that I can understand but when it's people who have got like a couple of a hundred to a couple of thousand uh, subscribers really I think they need to be engaging with their audience more but I don't want to be too negative so uh, yeah I just want to point out like I say my answer to question three generally that it's a community and it's a very good one most of the time. Uh, the, particularly the people I've got to know on YouTube and the people whose videos I watch regularly. Um, it, yeah, it, it helps me, as I said, feel like I belong to something um, that, that kind of fires my creative passion, my love for film. Number 11, what's your secret to a successful YouTube channel? I think engagement is, is really a key thing. Um, I, I can't confess to, to know the secrets of a successful YouTube channel because I don't know that I have a successful enough YouTube channel to be the guy who, who dishes out secrets. But um, just, just engage with your audience. If someone comments on your video, comment back, reply to them, strike up some kind of relationship with them because that's that's what we're here for that's what community is all about um so if, if you're always taking and never giving back then people aren't going to return they're not going to want to know you if if you're giving the impression that you don't want to know them it's it's, it's a funny thing because so how do you measure success um success to one person could be number of subscribers success to another could be the number of views they get per video or a success to another like me who does have low subscribers and, and low view count is the engagement with the with the subscribers that they do have. Um, I do have a few subscribers who do always kind of comment on my videos and, and I like that, that's what I'm here for. I think if that stopped, um, I would probably lose the will to keep doing this. Number 12, who do you tag? There's a couple of people I would have tagged, um, but one of them's already been tagged, which is uh, Fear the KM Gamer. He was tagged by ATZ Reviews, who tagged me, um, and Samantha over at um, London City Girl TV as as I mentioned her before I would have tagged her but she's already done a video for this tag um, so that leaves me with bearded movie guy so bearded movie guy you've been tagged
it gives it a sense of branding so that's why I do that so now I just do the one font font thumbnail pardon me